This news update is brought to you by. This is the Noon Barbados Today update for Tuesday, July 15, 2014. I'm Kmar Jordan. Good afternoon. We begin with news of a tragic murder. Lawmen are at this hour investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of 20-year-old Dario Ricardo Lloyd of Reese Road, Britain's Hill, St. Michael. According to police, Lloyd was killed last night after gunmen opened fire on a group of people gathered in the Bonnets housing area. He died while being treated at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. 14-year-old Makia Knight and 24-year-old Leron Motley were also injured in the shooting. Police say the three were among a group watching and playing dominoes when a number of people approached and shot at them. In other news, Opposition Member of Parliament Maria Agar, Dr. Maria Agar, that should be, is urging Barbadians to speak out against the municipal solid waste tax. The Christchurch West MP made the plea as she addressed a meeting to rally support against the, rally, uh, against the levy. Dr. Agard warned that the tax, which has been a major bone of contention in the country for the past few weeks, is a sign of things to come. Now, the reason I am saying to you is that we need to speak out against the municipal tax. Is that I am warning you, your silence is emboldening the government, and if you let that pass, If you let that pass, I am cautioning you this evening, another tax is coming. The Democratic Labour Party is laying a foundation for the introduction of users fees in this country. Meantime, political activist Cheryl Moore says Barbados is locked in a culture of fear that is preventing residents from speaking out on issues affecting them. Moore was a participant in two recent demonstrations in Bridgetown, one of which was against the solid waste tax. She says to be silent on such issues is a backward step. For somebody to think that if they speak out, that it, it, it has a negative ef effect on them. Not, not, it's not a back, it, that's a backward mindset for the individual, but it's also a backward mindset for the society at large to condemn people basically for wanting better for themselves or for wanting uh, a better way of life. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. The news of the region now. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon is urging in the international community to intensify its efforts to stem the cholera epidemic in Haiti. The UN chief traveled to Port-au-Prince yesterday for a first-hand look at the situation. But the Secretary General's visit was criticized by some in Haiti who are adamant that the UN must accept responsibility for introducing the disease and must provide compensation to families. He, however, assured residents that his office and his partners remain strongly committed to ending the epidemic as quickly as possible. The 2010 outbreak has killed more than 8,500 people and sickened over 700,000 more. Internationally, 20 people are confirmed dead following the derailment of several metro cars in Moscow this morning. According to reports, 160 people were injured. 129 of those were hospitalized. The accident took place during the morning rush hour in the Russian capital when three metro train cars derailed in a tunnel. More than 200 people were evacuated as officials investigate the cause of the derailment. 
And on that note, we end our noon update. You can join us again at 6 o'clock this evening. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper or remember to like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Kmar Jordan. Have a good afternoon and see you again at 6 o'clock. This news update is brought to you by...